What's going on you guys? Super Jamal will be back here at Beastman Heart and today I got a 2019 Silverado 2500 heavy duty crew cab Corey C. Martin Chevrolet. Once again, thank you so much for this opportunity. Shout out to my guy Lewis, my guy Samuel for this whoa, opportunity. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I cannot let y'all just go on without you boy coming in. You thought I was gonna miss out on the big brolic, big diesel shack. <laughs> hey, we, we got a Dirty Max, you know, sorry, excuse me, Duramax. It's packing a 6.6 liter diesel. Uh, and this is my our first diesel truck, you know, I'm, we're not really truck guys, but I can always appreciate a big brolicky midnight rider Batmobile right here, blacked out. Come on, it's looking really smexy. So, um, I don't know, let's see, uh, let's see what this bad boy's packing. Diesel, remember, not gasoline, big old engine, big old V8. Let's go ahead and check and see what this bad boy's all about. Bangers. So what's this like driving a 2019 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 Duramax? Well, I can tell you one thing right now. This is a um, quite a large vehicle to say the least. Uh, this is probably the biggest vehicle I've ever driven. And this is also the first diesel I've ever driven. Um, it comes with a 6.6 .6 liter uh, LP5 uh, diesel uh, pushing 445 horsepower and an eye-popping 910 pound-feet of torque. Uh, that is the most torque out of any vehicle I've ever driven. So I'm putting my foot down a little bit. Don't forget that our gas is a... It's a diesel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I know that. But um, this vehicle has a curb weight of 7,200 and 43 pounds if i remember correctly off the top of my head this is obviously a very very large vehicle uh to say to say the bare minimum um but it doesn't really feel like an overly large vehicle it's obviously very spacious in here and it's actually surprisingly pretty com comfortable uh this is the trim level just under the uh high high sierra i always say high, high country my fault i always get confused it's the high country this is the uh, LTZ with Duramax. Um, so it has most of your bills and also it's not the most fully optioned up one, but it's, it has a uh, MSRP of about $70,000. Base prices truck starts at around 53. So obviously you can see there's a good number of options on here. And um, mainly most of that money is going towards the, uh, the Z21 package, along with the fact that it has the 6.6 .6 liter uh, turbo V8 in here. And like I said, this is something that is made for your, like your country person that's always hauling, carrying things that has a payload of uh, 2,500 pounds. That seems a little low in my opinion. You know, you would think something that looks this this big, this huge, this brolicky. Yeah, you better slow down. <laughs> something this large would have you be able to put more things in the back, but it's uh, it's not that bad. How are you feeling, Tony? Because you know you're more uh, you're more used to trucks than I am. I mean, to be quite honest, I have a tremendous room. Uh, once again, like we talked about, uh, mom had a truck, grew up in a truck family. Uh, yeah, honestly, it's I have amazing room here. I can almost break dance in here. The seats is a uh, <laughs> the seats are, are pretty comfortable. Yeah, like honestly. overall, um, you know, like I said. This is one of those trucks where uh, it's made for pretty much any body type. I feel like yeah. any person can fit in here. Um, like I said, the, the amount of space in here, I mean, just look at, just look in here. Just like, come, come on. I don't think I've ever seen more space than that. You can <laughs> honestly uh, put a head in here, not like. <laughs> uh, um, but like I said, this is something that I can understand and see why some people like trucks because you sit high, you look down upon things. There is no visibility issues whatsoever. You have ridiculous amounts of clearance and overall it's just if you see this coming down the road you have no choice but to move out the way like really? you honestly you'd be you'd be quite the special individual if you were to not give this vehicle respect like again it, it weighs literally over three tons remember a ton is uh, two thousand pounds so it's a ton it's three tons three and a half ton tons in this vehicle moving and just the fact that this vehicle feels the way that it does and it's able to move in a relatively uh decent rate of speed it has decent get up but just that just that figure alone 7200 pounds is insane get out I, my way <laughs> yeah. get out my way like i can only imagine something like this coming down a hill like, Woo, man that's yeah. uh but see that's it also has options for um you know lane uh, hill descent over here if you put that down it has uh, lane departure warning um, it actually is pretty interesting because lane departure it 
doesn't just beep. It gives you like a little uh, nudge in the seat. It vibrates. Yeah. I've never. Did, did you feel that? No. Um, only is why I, I would assume they had it because when I was driving down a VA one time again, I I think I was driving a Chevy Tahoe. I want to say it was 2016, 2017. Oh, okay. But yeah, um, when I was driving, because I, I thought my phone was going no, off for a moment. No, I was and like, it's, it's a cool feature. Because I, I never, feature. I never felt that before. Um, you know, every lane departure warning system I've had in the vehicle before has always been, you know, like some sort of indicator on the rear view mirrors yeah. as well as a tone. The side mirror. This, this actually, like, we said, hey, buddy, like, you, you did it together here, yeah. which is on the channel because, like I said, this vehicle, you can seriously injure or hurt someone if you're not paying attention to something that's this large and weighs this much because there is, there is no joking around in here. This is, this is made for hauling. This is just, yeah, you all that. If you got a boat, uh, that's insane like it's not don't get me wrong it's not fast but it's not slow either and like i said i keep on every time i think about the way this truck moves i think about how much it weighs mm -hmm. and you know we got my guy samuel back once again shout out to martin chevrolet hey. he's he's more of a, or he comes from more of a truck family um what do you think is more of your opinion about something, something like this sam sorry sorry we're putting you on uh you come from more of a truck family where you say yeah. your brother your mom your and your father all have trucks and although you're not necessarily a big truck guy yourself, but considering you've been around trucks a lot throughout your life, how do you think this feels? And as the technology is improving, because uh, I don't have no nothing new trucks, but like had old trucks, like the warning, the signal, the vibration, that's that's a cool, cool feature. Um, the the cameras, the rear view cameras, an actual good because um, when you're hooking up a bow, something you can see when how close you are. And all that stuff. Yeah. Be back into the water too. Uh, fast, uh, <laughs> boy, I'm gonna tell you, you have a bad day. Because uh, I'll put it down in your bumper. Because <laughs> speaking about towing too, this uh, actually has around uh, 13,000 pounds towing. Just trailer hitch on the back, pulling 13,000 pounds. That's that's pretty insane. Just just thinking that just thinking about that, put it into perspective because you know the average car is about is about two tons. It's about four. That's about 4,000 pounds. So. You can realistically tow three cars, you know. You can haul a lot of things, and that's just trying to put it in perspective to try and give you guys the kind of idea of um, what this vehicle is capable of and what this diesel is capable of. And a lot of people love the diesels because uh, some of the some of the truck people that I know over fall on YouTube, they always recommend uh, getting the Duramax option because it's just it's rugged, it's um, reliable. It's, and it has ridiculous amounts of power. Remember, this has 910 pound-feet of torque, which is made into a six-speed automatic. There is not many things you can not tow in this vehicle. Like, you, I don't like. I don't know what more you'd want to be towing out of a relatively uh, civilian-esque vehicle. You know, <laughs> like uh, this is not requiring you know no A-class license or anything like that. This is just your regular civilian vehicle that you're going to pick up at your whim. You know, so. Um, it's, it's cool and like I said, I'm not much of a truck person But I do like to experience things and see different perspectives from people that uh, you know are into different things You know different trucks for different folks and um, over <laughs> so funny, bro. It I is <laughs> but um Like I said, this is not I'm, I'm pretty impressed like I said I'm astonished as to how much this vehicle weighs and the kind of get up that it has and overall, it's it's comfortable. Like I said, they have the leather seats in here. You have kind of the upgraded interior. And you know me when it comes to leather seats, I always love a better interior. I can't do the basic interiors personally. I, I can't. I just it's just not for me. Um, but something like this is is I feel a few good quality in here. Now, what I spent seventy thousand uh, dollars. Well, for me personally, I wouldn't get much use out of it because I'm not a truck guy. I don't have things to haul, things like this. So putting that into that perspective. It is really a matter of like, what are you looking for? What what this vehicle can provide, and can you see? Can you make money off of it? Because to me, in my in my opinion, the only reason why one would should or even looking at getting a truck like this is if you can make money out of it. Make the truck work for you. That's pretty much the only thing I can see. You got a huge turning radius here. Let me see. I got that clearance there. Oh, that was a wide berth in this car. I'll tell you that much. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my god. Well, see, that thing, you have so much space in the things that lost. Uh, especially if you're not paying attention to it. I put my phone right here. <laughs> you got a um, wireless charging system right yeah. here. So that's why his phone flew on um, one of the acceleration shots, I guess I apparently did. When you picked it up, I might not have done it. 
but um, the like I said, the, the lane departure warning is so weird to me because I feel like it feels like a little baby nudging, nudging my pie or something like that. It feels. It's like, hey, yes. be safe. You, you know. <laughs> We thought you were a good driver, like, no, bro, you can get over here. But see, that's also very necessary, too, because, like I said, if you're not used to this truck, yeah. the proportions are very wide. So it's, it's actually not features just, hey, you know, pay attention. Yeah. You know, you're yeah, driving something. You think you have. <laughs> it's, 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 exactly. Going for something like a coupe that I have to this, obviously, it's not, there's actually no comparison in terms of the proportions that it has. But that is a very good feature just to try and instill more of like, hey, pay attention. This is a large vehicle. Don't hit something. Or don't injure someone. And overall, like I said, I think I covered everything I need to about this vehicle. Um, again, it is comfortable. I do enjoy it. I see what it is. But personally, for me, I would do something a little ch on the cheaper side, like probably not the Duramax. It depends. Like I said, if you are a working type person, you need something to rug you, you need something that can handle, tow a lot of things, and overall, you use it for business. Excellent. But if you're just a civilian, you know, and you just want a truck, I don't see the purpose of... If you're using this for something uh, uh, just for leisure and just... Sorry. I'm just paying attention to this minivan here. I don't trust minivans. <laughs> Um, and you just <laughs> and you use this just for leisure and um, city driving. I wouldn't see the point to be honest. I would say there's something a little bit more affordable. I mean, but there are some people that just like top of the line, and that's what it is. And salute to you. But <laughs> um, like you said different strokes for different folks. Exactly. Like I said, I, I can only give my personal opinion. I do love the truck. It's a great truck. But like I said, for me, it's what what can you get out of it, and is the return on investment worth it? And like I said, if you are a working class person, you need something rugged that can haul a lot of things and will work for you and make the money back. Then by all means, this is an excellent choice. But if this is just your city slicker type vehicle, remember we are in Southern Santa California, we are in Torrance, California. Um, I would I would tell you to uh, kind of question, look at your kind of cheaper options that still has the same uh, nice interior. Still the same truck, still the same proportion. Remember, this is a 2500. Probably looking to a 1500, you know, something that could save you, save you some money here and still have a nice truck. So, with that said, I'll, those are my parting um, thoughts. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Shout out to Barney Chevrolet for this opportunity. My guy Samuel sitting with, us with me in the back. And <laughs> this video this video is now coming to a close. Thank you so much for watching. It's your boy Jamalby. And boy, your Matt. boy Big Mac, my fuck. <laughs> Um, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank yes, you so much sir. for watching. I'm out.